Rob Pilger here with uh, In The Gym Training Tip. I'm going to talk about the training with the mouthpiece. Alan Costco has written about this before, and rightfully so, being a former fighter, he understands firsthand what the benefit of training with the mouthpiece is. Very overlooked, something so simple, but yet effective. A lot of times in fights, especially really for beginners, uh, and I, first of all, I can recall my first amateur fight. I, I, was, uh, I wore a double mouthpiece at that time, one of those bigger ones. And I remember, you know, after the first round, I was telling my trainer Gary that, man, I can't breathe. I'm going to throw up. And, you know, like, this mouthpiece sucks. Wasn't, I never trained, wasn't comfortable with it. Fight night, you got to be right. And to have that problem, to, to take your focus off the fight was nuts. You know, I ended up winning the fight still. But it was very hard. So that was years ago that I started training with the mouthpiece to get comfortable with it. You know, these little single mouth pieces you can get at Walmart, wherever. Just, you know, put it in your mouth and really jump in the rope, hit the bags. You want to get comfortable with it because if you leave your mouth open during the fight, show discomfort and just you're gasping, you're going to get your jaw broken. You're going to get hurt. So really just get comfortable with it. And just bite down, work the heavy bag while training with it. Get used to that. Having it in. That's a new dimension to your training. Very often overlooked, as Alan Costro could tell you, I can tell you, really any all the other trainers out there use this could tell you. You want your fighter to be right. If you fight, you want to be right. Another thing too is the groin protector. You see fighters during fights fidget with their trunks. They're not comfortable with it on. It's not too tight. Train with it. Shadow box with it. Put it on. Once again, fight night, you got to be right. Why wait until the fight to really um, get a grasp with it? Spar you know, yeah, you want to wear it during sparring, but even during sparring, a lot of guys fidget with it. I tell my fighters, if they see the other guy doing that during sparring, get on him. Because you, sparring is to be right for a fight, and you're doing the other person, another fighter, a service by getting on on the show. Hey, protect yourself at all times. There's no place right in the ring. In the gym, is the time to get everything right and to uh, get all the kinks out. Wear this once again, hitting the heavy man, shadow boxing. You don't want to be, say, I'm sparring with somebody. Fidgeting with it, going, trying to go like this, you're going to get smoke. Get comfortable, put it on, move around with it, feel like the tongue. Move with it. You don't even act like it's... You get used to training with it on, you don't even act like it's on. Once again, when you fight, you gotta be very focused on what's in front of you. Not about thinking about your mouthpiece, I can't breathe. Not about, oh, this groin protector doesn't fit, this sucks. Once again, training, get all the kinks out, that's what you use it for. So that's a training tip. Once again, go on the site, check out my Ultimate Boxing Workout DVD, which covers the basics and beyond.